Hello everybody, welcome to a cast of mine. This is Vampire Q speaking and I realized that my I've long ago realized that my cast is pretty much boring and kind of monotonous, but I it, it actually did not occur to me that it simply is the issue with the video speed being too slow and causing me not to have things to speak about most of the time so what do we have here in this video is that i'm going to show you how to recover from a deficit how to recover from a bad situation whether you're hit for economic economy wise your workers got harassed or you just lost your army and things like that so right now i'm getting uh, my usual stuff 12 gateway 9 pylon 12 giveaway and the 14 assimilator which should be coming soon and here it is so i'm moving my scout around first i check the bottom left corner nope he's not there then bottom right yes there he is for a blue blip and i saw a forge and immediately i'm going to sign up a probe to check uh the back shrubbery here back shrubbery here nope it's empty and from the minimap you can see that there's a blue speck and whoops I failed to spot that he managed to warp in a pylon on my uh, on the top of my ramp that is brilliant play from him now um, over here I chose to run my zealot away but I, uh, it's a mistake for me I could have just let my zealot stay up there and go to hacking away at the pylon and then his cannon rush will be thwarted there and then but I didn't do that because I feared that my zealot would die due to to be inside the range of cannon but alas no he's gonna keep shooting away so um, I just got my cybernetics core getting warp gate research started and I will be throwing down more gateways in the near very near future so what am I what are my thoughts right now the thing is what's going on my head what's going through my head right now is I'm going to lose these gateways I'm going to lose uh, the cybernetics core um, so what can I do? I what what I can do is to move my buildings inside. It's not that I can uh, move my gateways to the back of my in the back of my base like I can walk them there, but rather just let the front die and rebuild closer to yourself so that they'll be out of range of the cannons. Now uh, he's got another pylon warping on to the high ground, which I cannot deal with it just yet and now being completed it has now uh, enlarged the vision so it can start shooting away at my cybernetics core again so I'm getting a replacement cybernetics core and just got my first stalker out with the range to be able to stay well of the range of cannon and to deal with the pylon while shooting at the probe and the most important thing about stopping a cannon rush is to kill the probe uh, once the probe dies it will stop any more production and uh, yeah so that's the first step to stopping the cannon rush now it's really unfortunate that I lost the cybernetics core before taking down the pylon but it doesn't really matter much since I already have a uh, new what's that word oh man uh, yeah, I just call it new cyber whoa what happened here Looks like my computer froze for a second, scared the crowd out of me. So right now I'm just uh, sending my stalkers to the front, so it's natural to check for an expansion, and then going up his ramp to check for unit composition if there's any, but at last I saw three cannons. And I didn't manage to see what building warped in. Now the uh, the line of thought that, run is like, that is running through my head right now is any cannon rush user that is successfully stopped, he's going to transition into Dark Templars or he's going to transition into Void Rays. These two are the most most common transition. And um, just back a few days, I had all of a sudden I had this thought of how about transitioning into a six gate expand? Uh, because this technically is a more aggressive form of the Forge expand. So right now, uh, I might just look into uh, developing that in another video I don't know I might do that so it depends on my mood yeah so stay tuned guys so right now I just got my robotics facility to get the observers out to deal with any possible Dark Templars I know it's kind of a blind assumption right now but there's really nothing I can do because he's got three cannons that are at the top of his ram I cannot simply just waste all my units and 
get in in case he amassed a huge amount of uh, gateway units and then ruffle stomping over. So I also have my Twilight Council uh, working on the blink research to hmm, uh, to allow myself to catch up to Void Rays easier. Now the thing about Void Stalkers uh, already can take down Void Rays pretty handily. Now with Blink, it's going to make your life much easier because you can just blink right under them and start focusing, focus firing on them uh, such that they do not have too much time to charge up on your stalkers. Now I'm also getting my third expansion, my second, uh, my natural expansion is pretty much saturated. Now I'm moving up for an attack. Um, right now sticking with five gateways and uh, waiting, all my stalkers are going to wait here, wait till my observers reach their position to give vision to the high ground and then I can see what units um, this blue player has been going for so right now let's moving and here what do we have void race about four of them and I'm going to start shooting at them trying to draw them up but he has been paying attention but BAM that's what I'm talking about blink right under their asses and shooting on them so you can see that none of them are charged up at all at most to level 2. Right now I'm just uh, focus firing down the pylons. It is much faster to take down 4 pylons than to take down 3 stargates. Now he's got his uh, probes to attack me but I'm just going to peel my stalkers away which is going to happen. Bang, blink, blink. Just keep peeling the uh, uh, the stalkers that has the shields and hit points down low and Essentially, letting them recharge your shields. Now, uh, I also now the thing about taking down pylons is you run the chance of unpowering other buildings, which will happen with this pylon and then with this gateway got uh, unpowered as well. At this point, the player, the opponent, realizes that it's game over, so um, he's gonna leave the game. And yeah, I pretty much just took him down already. So. Um, Man, I lost my train of thought again. What am I gonna say? Now, okay, there's a concept here which I would like to highlight to people is that um, sometimes it is better to lose a base than to lose your whole army trying to defend it. I would like to say that again. Sometimes it's better to lose a base than to lose your whole army trying to defend it because most of the times you see or maybe in games you lose is that when you try to defend your natural that is being attacked and you know you're going to lose it is a high chance you're going to lose it and then you just all sacrificed all your army into defending it and then you lose um, you you kept your natural alive, your expansion alive, your base alive, but you lost your whole army and then maybe 5 minutes later the opponent all of a sudden steamrolls over you with another mass of units which you somehow cannot amass back in time. Now the thing is um, in losing a, a base in keeping your army back in inside wherever you want maybe for example let's say this, this base is under attack and I just kept my forces back in here and then I kept uh, reinforcing more units I can have the advantage of the high ground uh, most maps you have high ground advantage which translates into defender's advantage you can force through your ram you have a higher uh, better concave over here rather than here and things like that because uh, the most important thing about Starcraft is besides economy is your army if you l have no army at all then you cannot do anything now uh, I know what drives that sort of suicidal defending thing is because people think that oh man if I lose this base I'm going to be behind economically uh, it'll be GG I cannot recover from that sort of damage um, it is true but not always true so um, what happened here was a much smaller version of this being attacked it's just like uh, my gateway and cyber core being attacked so I said okay I'll lose it and I'll just rebuild back in here make some stalkers and shoot down this pylon and then hey the cannon rush is stopped and I went on to win the game so yeah this is about all and my macro kind of failed 
I'm sitting on a lot of resources. Not sure why I walked into stalkers here. Maybe I was anticipating some uh, void raise action back here. But nevertheless, this has been a cast from me. Uh, this game is like one, two months old. The thing about me is when I have games that I saved to replay that I want to cast, I never really get to casting them until like one two weeks later, sometimes even months later. So um, this game hasn't been... the memories of this game isn't really very fresh and I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this cast and stay tuned for more. Like always, keep watching, post any comments, post uh, any questions you have down in the comment section below and see you again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and Vampire Q out.